Hey, right. That's right. Yeah, we looking good, feeling good. Ain't nobody gonna mess with us. <laughs> <too. laughs> know that. Know that. <laughs> Take a hit, man. Hey, check it out. Hey, yo, big dog. Yo, you and Dex, back me up, dog. Come. Is that all right with you? Jackpot, man. Clean the machine. Do it. Okay, okay, okay. Here, take these. Take whatever you want. Yeah, man. Give up the keys. Damn. Yo, turn it off, man. I can't. When it's on, I can't turn it off. Turn it off, man. Shoot him. Come on, man. Let's blow. Chill. Turn off your light. I can't. Shoot him. What? You got something to say to me, man? Let's get the hell out of here. No, no. Don't stop. He was a cop and good at his job, but he committed the ultimate sin and testified against other cops gone bad. Cops that tried to kill him, but got the woman he loved instead. Framed for murder, now he prowls the Badlands, an outlaw hunting outlaws, a bounty hunter, a renegade. Adams? Why do you want him? He's got something that means a lot to me. Maybe if I could find him, I could convince him to help me out. I met him once. Didn't seem like he'd be too easy to convince. But you look like you could give it a shot. Do you know where I can find him? Heard he headed east. Guess that's not much. At least I know which direction to ride. Thanks. Anything ever slow you down? Once in a while, something gets in the way. Like what? I won't know till I find it.
want to do what? Bring Dexter in. What, are you kidding? You know what it's like when this guy hangs out? You go down there, all they're ever going to find of you is bent handlebars and bloodstains in the cement. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. No, 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 Reno, you don't understand. Not even the cops want to go down there. That's why they moved the precinct north two years ago. What's the matter? 25 grand not enough? I'm never even going to see the 25 grand. It's just deployed by the bank to make people feel safe at the ATM because the bank knows no one's stupid enough to go down there looking for this guy. OK, look. South of 98 was my rookie beat. I got to know it pretty well. And there are people down there who meant a lot to me. And now the whole city's forgotten about that part of town, handed it over to the gangs. All right. Shy and I have a court date in town. It'll be a couple days before we can back you up. You got a lead? What are you talking, South of 98? There's only one place to start. Can I help you, sir? Reno? <laughs> Reno Reigns. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wow. What brings you here, Reno? You got somewhere with the doctor? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a lot more famous people on the walls than you did 10 years ago, Danny. Yeah, and a lot more bills, too. Boy, this new building is really stretching us tight. We're the largest youth club in the city now. We've got classes in computers, how to fill out a job application. We've got Planned Parenthood. You know, we even provide dental care through the university. You still neutral territory with the gangs? So far. But you didn't come here to listen to me brag, did you? No. I heard stories about you, Reno. Don't believe them. You know me, Danny. I did. I knew you well, but people change. I didn't. You were always as good as your word, Reno. And that word's still good with me. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, 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 Lynette. Come on in, come on in. Listen, you probably don't remember this guy, but that is... Reno Reigns. <laughs> I recognized you when you came in. Hi, Lynette. <laughs> um, so did Daddy show you a picture? It's on the wall here somewhere between a mayor and a movie star. I saw it. What a compliment. <laughs> so what brings you here to Danny's place? He's looking for Clarence Dexter. How'd you? Like I said, Reno, I hear things. And do you know him? Mm-mm. And if you want to do what's best, you won't get to know him either. Boy like that is beyond help. You never used to close the door on anyone? Never used to do a lot of things, Reno. That was back when the world made a little more sense. Now? It's cold out there. I can take care of myself, Danny. Listen, Reno, um, you're coming here. That's, um, that's as dangerous for us as it is for you. Of course. I'm sorry. Listen, you get in the jam, you call me. Same here, Danny.
What's up with the TV? Yo, dog. Smoke another one of those. You can turn off the TV and wash the wall. I'm gonna put my foot in your mouth and watch you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, check it out. We made the crime sheet. <laughs> Hey, everybody talking about you, Dex. Why'd you have to smoke him, Shooter? Me? <laughs> you read the paper, boy. You the one they looking for. Yeah, well, maybe somebody ought to set him straight. And who might do that? You in, Dex. Enjoy it. <laughs> Yo, people think you ride a shotgun, you ought to start pulling the trigger. <laughs> 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 Funky guitar, can't you hear it now? Dig the guitar. Get Customer. Hey man, what you want to do that for? Why don't you pick up somebody your own size? Tried it. This is easier. Who do you think you are? Some kind of cowboy or something? Just somebody who's looking for some answers. Now, the way I figure, a runner like you, pockets full of crack, you know the answer to just about every question I could ask. So you tell me, where Dex and his set hangs out? Yeah, right. Hey, I'm gonna find him anyway. And when I do, I'll have to tell all those guys down there that you're the one that led me to them. Ain't nobody gonna listen to no Beach Boy five vote like you. Well, I ain't a cop. And I'm real good at convincing people to listen to me. Real good. <sighs> Cribs on 113 in Western, and you ain't gonna like what you find there. Well, I didn't expect to. You know where Danny's place is? Everyone's heard of Danny's place, chump. All right, you watch what happens to Dex. You think about it. Look at me. When this is over, you meet me there. Keep dreaming. This way. Get moving. Oh, yo, check it out. Damn, man. What'd you do, steal your mama's car? <laughs> no, yours, man. <laughs> What's up, baby, man? Hey, yo, man. Why don't you ride shotgun today? No, man, I'm backseat all the way. Get off me. Well, shoot it, let's fail.
pretty fast for a white boy. Yeah. What's your problem, man? Who you looking for? You. Yeah, well, you made a mistake. Don't you know all us brothers look alike? Now, what's this? Your ride. Say what? I'm being yanked by some Fred who came in before the car. Where you think you're taking me? Jail. Get on. For what? Murder. What makes you think I got something to do with the murder? An ATM photograph of your car at the scene. My car was stolen. Can't you see? This is a bad neighborhood. A nice big close-up of you sitting in it. Six killer. I got him. How far are you out? Maybe two hours. I'm going to try to get north of 98 before they pick up my trail. Then I'll call you for a handoff when it's clear. Be careful. Always. I'm telling you, man, I didn't kill no Hey, one. do me a favor. Try to come up with some line I haven't heard before. Long way to go. What are you going to do? Take the freeway? No, no, no. Hold up, man. If you think I'm going to be holding your butt doing 60 miles now? You best to begin, man. Well, you better hold on, or I'll be coming back here to pick you up off the street with a spatula. Damn. Oh, rich folks up north don't want us getting out. Figure as long as we stay south of 98, we can do whatever we want. Guess you should have stayed south of 98 the other night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you just leave me be and go home, huh? You don't belong down here, man. That's all right, man. Huh. We'll get him. Let's get out of here. So that uh, cellular you just lost, was that leased or did you own it? Man. What? This is a surprise to you those phones are broke? What do you think you are, man? Fantasy land? You think some dwarf's gonna jump out of one of these dumpsters and hand you a glass of lemonade or something? Well, welcome to my world, man. We got pimps on Main Street. And that uh, jungle ride? Oh, it can kill you. At least you got one thing to look forward to. Yeah, what's that? Be dark soon. Things get real exciting around here when the sun goes down. Let's get going. Man, by now, the brothers waiting for you on every street out of here. You got no place to go. Let's hope you're wrong. <laughs> Reno. Danny Alexander, Clarence Dexter. Mm-hmm. Look, uh, I'm real sorry about barging in here like this, but I just need to use your phone. You brought him here? So this was your plan? Parade in here so that the whole world sees where you are? No one saw us. Look, I thought you were my father's friend. Lynn. Well, I don't mind if you're trying to get yourself killed. But when it comes to me and my father, you That's better enough. leave us. Look, has anybody been hurt? Not yet. Right, look, Reno, I want you to take my car, and I want you to get out of here. It's not great. recognize your car as fast as they'd recognize my bike. All I really need to do is to make that call. We'll be on our way, promise. The 
This is Bobby. Change of plans. You run into some trouble? There's an alley behind a restaurant. At 106th and Western. Can you meet me there? Well, yeah, sure. I think we can be there in about uh, 30 minutes. Sorry about Lynn, Reno. Hey, she's right. She tells it like it is. <laughs> Wonder who taught her that. You know, nobody said it was going to be easy raising kids, but in this world, I'm an optimistic man, Reno. Sometimes what I see out there makes me want to cry. Look, you don't have anything to worry about. You raised her right. Did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You raised her great. Now, can we get out of here, man? I'll see you later. Cut me off this bike. Watch my back. Yo, get me off this bike now! Yeah, I'll cut you off. Hold on. Get it off! It's almost completely blown. This oil will burn off in less than a mile. So the bike's dead, you lost your phone, and you turned down the offer of a car. Not that it's my business, but uh, why don't you just call the police? You're right. It ain't your business. Uh-huh. I had a feeling there was more to you than you was letting on. You always this annoying? I didn't even begun to get annoying. What's the matter? Not enjoying yourself? Not hard. Well, maybe you should have thought harder before you killed someone. I told you before I didn't kill nobody. You act like this is my fault. Oh, well, let me guess. It's not? Where you been? Cars been crashing. Guns been firing. People are fighting. All because of me? Hell yeah! No one gave a damn about me till you strapped me on the back of this bike. Well, maybe I don't like to see criminals walking the streets. Sorry. No, I'll tell you who's sorry. Your buddy Danny. Oh, things are really looking up for him since you said hi. Yeah, he's real glad you showed up. Once word gets out, him and his daughter been helping you. Their lives are gonna get real exciting. Tell me something, motorcycle man. Don't you think everyone would have been a little bit better off if you stayed on your side of the fence and I stayed on mine? 
If you're so interested in getting rid of me, why'd you let me know before I was about to get popped back there, huh? Why didn't you let your friend blow me away? Now what are we doing? Calling the cavalry. How are you gonna do that without a phone? I'm not. Ten bucks to use your phone. Twenty. I don't Here you go. Thank you. Do you mind? Bobby, it's me. Where are you? Danny's place. What? By the time we got to the restaurant, Reno was obviously had come and gone. I couldn't get you on the cell phone, so I came to the one place you always talked about. Look, you gotta get out of there right now, okay? I promised Danny I wouldn't get him any more involved. I already went through this with him. Bobby, please. Reno, no, Reno, listen to me. You know the club is neutral territory. You'll be safe if you come here. Safer than anywhere else. It's really all you got. Shouldn't be here, man. Bad things are gonna go down. People are gonna get hurt. See, this ain't the place this should happen. What are you talking about, man? Come on. Hey, get in here. You've done enough advertising. Let's go. Come on. Got him? Got him. Get your hands off, man. Don't you people know what's going on here? We're nothing but targets. They can be all over us like bugs on a porch light. We're dead! I thought this place was supposed to be neutral. Ain't no such thing as neutral anymore. It's for or against. And right now, my homies are against. You should be happy. Your friends are coming down against us to save your scrawny little butt. Or are they trying to hurt you too? He was gonna shoot you in that alley. Wasn't he? Look, let's just get in the Winnebago, all right? We can further this discussion or well, we're getting the hell out of here. They ain't gonna let us go. They don't even know we're here. They know exactly where we are. They always have. What the hell are you talking about? Ask her. You leave her out of this. <laughs> Everybody okay? Yeah. Bobby, check the bay doors. Got it. Danny, is there another way in here? No, just through the front. Lynn! I'm okay. All secure here. This one, too. <laughs> I'm going out there. No, don't! She's right. There's no way any of us is stepping out there. I built this place, damn it. I brought the trouble here. Not alone, you didn't. Not by a long shot. This is my world, Reno. This is my life. And I can't let some gangbangers tear it down. It's best this way. Should have never tried it any other way. We'll take it from here, old man. I want you out of here. All of you. We'll be gone as soon as we finish our business. Dex won't be leaving with you. You got that right. I'm not. 
don't shoot her. Getting blood all over my car, man. Please, just let him go. Let him go? <laughs> you setting your sights a little high, don't you think? If I was you, I'd just be hoping I wouldn't have to see him die in front of me. Well, at least Danny's still alive. That's more than I can say for the rest of us. This is way out of control. Call the cops. Yeah, but Reno... And Danny could be out there dying. I'll just take my chances. He's dead. Well, they probably cut the phone lines outside. I'll use the cellular. It's gone. You took it, didn't you, Lynette? You've been playing against us all along, telling Dex's buddies every move we made. Look, leave her out of this. She's in it. She's the only one that knew when we went to the restaurant. And the only one that knew we came back here. What are you, deaf man? She ain't involved, all right? They shot your father, Lynette. They said no one would get hurt. And you believed him? Why? You one of them? No! Then why? Because I love Dex. And because my father wouldn't help him. Come on, baby, you don't need to say anything else. She better say it all. It's the only way we're gonna get out of here alive. Dex didn't shoot at anyone. I'm not saying that there's no blame, but he's not a murderer. How do you know that? Because I know. If you had taken him in, if, if he'd gone to trial, he wouldn't have stood a chance. He would have been sacrificed just so that the people north of 98 could go to their banks anytime they damn well please. So you decided to hang me out to dry instead? I told you they said no one was going to get hurt. I guess she'd be real surprised to find out what went down at that restaurant, huh? They tried to kill the both of us. They're afraid you're going to roll over on them if I turn you in. Isn't that so? Yeah. And after tonight, they're probably right. Daddy knew about me and Dex. That's why he tried to warn you off, but he didn't know the rest of it. It tore him up lying to you. But he didn't believe me about Dex, and that tore me up. Why don't you just turn over the cellular? And we'll discuss this when the authorities arrive. I broke it. Just in case you found it, I'm sorry. This is not good, pal. What are we gonna do? The whole place is shut up tight. And that's the only way out. And then, you got the rest of it? Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Words out on the street. The rest of the homies be here in the hour. Just about party time, man. Whatever they're planning, they'll move on us before daylight. Well, that doesn't leave us much time to come up with a brilliant plan. Anything? Nope. You? You know, if my bike was running, I'd take my chances and blast out of here and get to a phone. Now your bike won't even make it outside, let alone to a phone. Wait a second, what about this? That bike's kind of a project around here. Yeah, well, did it ever run? Yeah, I think so. Oh, perfect. Wait a second. It's not in that bad a shape. It looks worse. But, uh, let's be optimistic, shall we? 
Give me some tools, will you? Got it. Uh. This is all I could find. That's plenty. Thank you. In your tank. <coughs> Got a couple of gallons. Thanks. Want some gum? Let's just hope these forks hold. We'll find out soon enough. You know, even if this bike runs great, this is suicide. Well, we don't have a choice, Shy. Well, we can wait. We can hold them off. I don't think so. It looks like they're calling their friends right now. Okay, Bobby. You pop open the doors just as I run through them. Lay down enough cover for me. Hopefully, I'll be able to slide by them before they notice. If they do come after me, it might give you enough time to grab Danny. Don't worry, we'll do what we have to do. Is there anything else? Yeah. Let's take the cuffs off of Dex. What? what? We need the firepower. An extra gun might be what it takes to get me in the clear. An extra gun may get you shot in the back. What do you say, Dex? You for or against? Wait a minute, he may not have jerked the trigger, but he's definitely rooting for the wrong side. Yeah, best listen to your friend, motorcycle man. Uh-uh. I won't listen to you. You keep saying how we're from different sides of the fence, how we should mind our own business. Well, what's it going to be? They'll kill me just as fast as they kill you if I went out there. What are you afraid of? Out there's where you belong, right? You know something? You're not as dumb as you look. All right, here we go. do that because stepping away from him is a lot easier a lot smarter than getting blown away come on man ain't we done enough shooting of each other almost brother almost oh don't do this man <laughs> Next time. Thanks. No problem. Would have done the same thing for any long hair and skinny pain in the butt white boy trying to take me to jail. Come on, let's take him to the hospital. You know, when you came down last week, you said we hadn't changed. But you made me realize I had. You said that um, I had never closed doors. And here I was slamming one in the face of my daughter and the man she loved. I guess I'd let the cold creep into my bones, huh? Oh, come on. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, well, anyway, I just wanted to say thanks. For what? For stoking the fire. For helping me open some doors. So have you heard from Dex? 
Yeah, he's cooperating with the police. I mean, he'll still do time, but he's at peace with that. What about when he gets out? Well, I hope he'll come back and work with me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for everything. Danny? Hey, take care, man. All right.